So this is me with no makeup and no eyebrows <laughs> and uh, basically no hair. But I wanted to share <laughs> this awesome day with you uh, because I am starting to get hair back. I can't really, I know they <laughs> like what hair, but there's like, there's little fuzzies happening here and um, it's really exciting. Um, I was drying off one morning getting out of the shower and I looked in the mirror and I saw like this little like um, kind of blondy like fuzzy peach fuzz and like that made my day. It's like so exciting to see your body come back to life. I don't have any eyebrows really left. There's like, I don't know, like 10 left and basically some little fuzzies starting to come through which is cool. I have no bottom eyelashes and I have like a dozen eyelashes left like on the ends. So that kind of blows. So today's the uh, day after treatment for me and I always feel like really icky inside like I need to detox and stuff and um, my, my body's really weak and everything hurts like my muscles and my joints and everything. L-glutamine, this helps keep uh, mouth sores away when you're having chemo. Um, I'm gonna do like a tips video because I know some people are going through this as well and I've learned some things through friends that um, are going through treatment as well that you know like doctors don't tell you. So um, alpha opaic acid is um, good for neuropathy. Look how much hair I've gotten. Every day I look in the mirror or I take pictures and stuff just to like do like a timeline but I cannot believe how much hair is already coming back I can't tell you guys um it's funny like <laughs> most people would probably cry you know in sadness if their hair looked like this but I can't tell you how um how encouraging it is to see your body come back even though it's just like a little tiny bit of hair <laughs> just to see that your body is like I'm still here you know I'm still trying to do this um, that is so it's so encouraging to see you I hurt so bad today um, I like I started a shower and it, I ended up like sitting in the shower because it hurt so bad to stand I should have just taken a bath today but um, I just finished lunch and I had one of my pain pills <laughs> And um, I'm watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It's like a complete marathon of that. But I think I'm going to watch a movie later and like make some herbal tea. But Miss Millie, she is sitting on my lap right here. She doesn't know what to do for her mama. They always know when you don't feel good when something's wrong. She's being kind of sassy today though at the same time. <laughs> she got a new bone bone so that's keeping her excited and occupied <laughs> so mom can do some stuff but look at these pretty cards I got um I thought I just I can't sit around and just like be miserable and think about that so um I like I got these beautiful cards um like I think in October when they first started getting Christmas stuff but these I thought were so pretty they have glitter all over them it's a big day I'm not going to a party but Today is my last day of chemo, so I wanted to dress up and wear my favorite Betsy Johnson dress and vintage sparkles, and I wear my fun blonde wig because we brought um, we're bringing cookies to the um, chemo place because um, it's nice to share and give something nice to everyone who's going through this and to the nurses and I'm bringing um, Christmas presents to some of them that have been really nice to me through all of this. So, yeah, I'm just going to rock it out, my last one, and I don't know what else to say. Yay! <laughs> I'm, I'm done. It's been 16, 16 times, and I am so proud of myself for doing this, and it's, it's something that I've never felt before. I've been proud of myself for doing things and, you know, making things or um, playing a song or something like that. But this is a completely different feeling than I've ever had before. And I was so scared when I started this. 
and I just didn't know what to expect or if I could do it and I prayed for two things when I started doing this. I, I prayed for strength to get through it and the grace to handle it and I did it. I did it. So I'm going to chase my last freaking one. Yeah. So Merry, I, I don't want to ruin my nice makeup I did today. Merry so, Christmas. Yeah, this is a huge Christmas for me. And everyone will be from now on because it's like this will be like such a milestone time for me every year now. So, okay, we're going to go to the hospital and we're going to do this. <laughs> And thank you all for being there. Yeah, and yeah, thanks for being here and encouraging me through all of this. Because that's huge. Even though I've never like even met you guys, I've been here for me. And I really appreciate it. So, here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> you slide right into her bed and just slide it across the Everybody yeah, is wearing pink. Oh, I'm pink. Everyone's wearing pink. Pink. Pink, pink. Because it's the last day. I just got her septic. I got my own room today. Because we rowdy. <laughs> rowdy. They put us in the rowdy. I want to see if I've been, oh, I've been spelling it wrong. But that's the thing that I was telling you they poked me with. And now it goes 1984. In. You're yeah. sort of a special baby. <laughs> he call, he calls special. me his medical miracle. The medical miracle. Medical mystery. No. Yeah. 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 I thought that was a miracle. <laughs> You're just a I mystery. like miracle better than mystery. A mystery. <laughs> a jerk. <laughs> you have a, you have uh, the 1984 something. chip. You're going to live forever. A chip? A chip. You're never going to get old. I don't want the chip. Let's go.